Welcome to Cleveland Pools, the UK's oldest Lido. I'm going to show you around so you can plan your visit. Our website also provides a visual story of site and a sensory map if you need more detailed information. You'll notice that Cleveland Pools is on a quiet residential street. There is no parking here. Please don't drive onto the estate either to park or to drop anybody off. We do have disabled parking right by the entrance gate. This is available to use if you have a blue badge. This gateway is the entrance to the pools. The slope is very steep. It is also quite narrow. People will be traveling in both directions up and down the slope. There are handrails on one side and then around halfway down handrails on both sides. As you reach the corner, the path turns sharply right and the view opens across sight. You can see here the main crescent building, which includes the ticket office and changing rooms. You may also find on busy days that the queue for the ticket office starts around here. Continuing down the path, there are information boards on your right. If you continue straight ahead here, you will reach the kiosk and the terrace next to it. When it is busy, this area is likely to be noisy. At the bottom of the slope next to the terrace are a set of five bike racks. There is an accessible toilet here next to the kiosk. This also includes a baby changing area. Inside the kiosk there is another disabled toilet which has a shower and a changing area. From the terrace you can see both the children's pool and the main pool. There are railings around the terrace. The ticket office can be reached on the set of steps to your left or by following the step-free access path that heads off to the left at the bottom. This is the ticket office. As well as checking your booking, this office also has copies of our activity trail for you to enjoy. We also provide sensory bags for anyone who may need some support to enjoy their visit. These bags contain a range of items, including ear defenders, a stress ball, soft toys, a fan, a fidget toy, stretchy fish toys and a three minute timer. Please return the bag before you leave. This archway leads to the pools with the main pool straight in front of you. The floor around the pool on this side is a stone surface. There are two sets of steps into the main pool. These doors are the main changing rooms. There are 12 changing rooms. This is how the inside of the changing rooms looks. On the back of each door is a picture and a story about a character from the pool's history. Here, at the end of the Crescent Building, is another disabled toilet and changing area. This room at the end of the building is the first aid room. At this far end of the pool are a set of outdoor showers. This building is the Exhibition and Learning Centre, also known as the Ladies' Pool. Inside here are a series of displays sharing the pool's history. On the other side of the pool, you can see how close we are to the river. This side of the pool is covered in a springy, rubbery surface. Between the river and the pool, there is a bench to sit on and a display about the environment the pool is set in. At this end of sight is the main toilet block. This is also where the children's pool is. There are two sets of steps into the pool. At the bottom of the pool is an underwater timeline sharing the history of the pools. Next to the children's pool is another set of outdoor showers. Between the children's pool and the terrace is a set of stone seats. We hope you found this tour helpful and look forward to welcoming you here at Cleveland Pools.